had some unfinished business with me here. Now, Shane, I know you've had your up and downs with numerous people in PWA and some of these people just coming back in. Now, how would it feel if J-Rod moves on and he walks out as a double champion? Well, that's something I haven't entertained the thought of. Ladies and gentlemen, so his tag here. team partner from Columbus, Georgia, as as Jones. j -Rod. Recovering what he thinks is his, but you're right, j -Rod could be a double champion by the end of the evening. So thanks for that thought. Well, let's see what Mr. j -Rod has to say mainly to you, Mr. Knowles. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, his Dia tribe here is not directed in my general direction. Well, it looks like it might be. There's a lot of people here, but his glare is coming this way. I'll tell you what, you and that little vest that came off my Ken doll on a Barbie set, step over to the corner and get out of my camera shot. Uh, JB. <laughs> Shane Knowles, what is it like to be stupid and helpless? I think he's talking to you. I he's told you. Talking. Yeah, look at me. Don't they look? Your ears are big enough. Take those off and pay attention to what I'm saying, punk. Well, we're going to see, Bert, what he's going to really have to say. You might want to slide now, over. Come in right here because this is where it's at. And Shane knows what it feel like to pay the bills but have no control. Crew Jones, myself. And CJ Awesome, run this place. You, sir, are nothing but a wannabe. And you losers paying top dollar for front row seats to see a hot man like me are losers too. Well, Bert, you hear that, don't you? Class, I hear these it. These are things in excellence that none of you people will ever know about. Maybe you one day, girl, if you ever grow up, get a chance with a guy like me, yeah. Pay attention. The future of this business is here. They're young. They're not old. And guess what? We're bad in the freaking bone, baby. Well, Mr. Knowles had something. I don't know if he's going to have something to rebuttal out about this one. I'm sure you would like to see me lose my composure there, Cobra. Well, I just thought maybe if you were, you know, bad about it, you know, you would have went up and had something to say. I don't know to this day what I've ever done to J-Rod to, uh, to draw the ire, to uh, his anger, to draw his wrath. He better be focused on the task at hand here. Young Steven Strider making his way down the aisle. Still looking this way. I noticed that Mr. Nose went and got some local talent around Harrison County, Carroll County, and whatever county Ephesus is in. I don't know. Ephesus? Yes. Is that still in uh, Heard County? Is that in Heard County? I think that's just southwest of uh, Parts Unknown. There he goes. There it is. The wicked nemesis. The wicked nemesis. Uh, one of Cobra's favorites here. <laughs> He's not going to call Cobra an oddball, but he seems to uh, be taking pleasure in everyone else, everyone that everyone else hates. 
you guys pointed out that I've not been in PWA for a while, but did he lose his silk shirt to that suit? Had to go with a t-shirt, <laughs> little I loungewear. I understand this is your last night here, but as I've told you before, you're not a wrestler, you're a midget. Get out of this ring now! One, two, somebody hang me a water bottle so I can squirt it. Get out! You think I'm playing? Oh, I'm sorry. I probably, you must all think that we're here to play. We're not here to play. Take this with the most serious thought you can. Let me tell each and every one of you. You're looking at a historic night. Make the lottery right battle. Shut up! We can do this all night long because until I drop. Well, Shane, uh, I think they've had more mic time than JB. JB, not a fan of the Wicked Nemesis. I, for one, would like to see uh, the Wicked Nemesis hairstyle donned on uh, This match is up for one fall. Actually, I wouldn't go nowhere looking like he did. I imagine that's a pillow that's uh, got quite a few slices and dices. Of course, what do I know about here? I'm uh, sporting the uh, best cue ball in the arena this evening. I think you need to get it shining. Mm. Turtle wax up on the dome. Well, there's no shame in being follically challenged. <laughs> hey. We're all bound to go there. No, no, we're not all bound to go there. Uh, well, you know, maybe that's just the way the lights shining on Cobra's. Uh, Plate up there. Could be, could be heading that direction. Right. I can count all y'all hell <laughs> club president people in here. There's a bunch of y'all. <laughs> Even JB looks like he's been to go. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my Steve God. Just got welcomed. Mm. 
takes down the elbow. This is match number, am I right, six or seven? Six. This is match, you're right, match six, Bert, of the uh, eight lethal lottery tag team matches. Already ten men have staked their claim. Two more will come out of this contest. Nice leap from by Jay Rod. Like a half snap there, and then a chop from behind from J Rod. And I think so far tonight, J Rod has to be one of the toughest pound for pound competitors so far tonight. If you can just see the intensity oh, wow. as he jump and leg drop, covers him, and only gets a two count. You're right on that, Bert. J Rod, now this is what I was talking about guys who are focused, who know that the Heritage title is hanging in the balance, that brass ring. J Rod is not playing around. I, I thought he was. I thought maybe he was a little bit distracted when he was taking some pot shots at me, but ever since the ring of the bell, he's been all over Stephen Strike. It's been business at hand, you know. Mm. We can talk up beside it, but he knows what has to happen to be in the ring in order to make it to the 16. Now this jabroni that's on the other side of him, I have no idea. Oh, wow, Daniel Alexander refusing to take the cheap way out. J-Rod slapping his own partner. Not everybody plays by your rules, J-Rod. Or Cobra's rules. I'm sure Daniel Alexander <laughs> is in the doghouse with the Cobra. Or is that the pit? It's not the doghouse. That's he's right. In the, he's, he's in, in the, the pit. pit. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to get struck. I don't know what his problem is. But if he don't win this in general, we're going to have some explanation for him. Nice move by Alexander. Get out the neck scissors. Back into the side headlock. The Prime Minister of Pain standing on the outside of the ring. Jonas Nemes is staying by his protege at all times. Oh! J Rod said, You tag me when I say be tagged. He is the Georgia Junior Heavyweight Champion. And he deserves mm. some respect, Mr. Knowles. If Strider came in with a perfect set of teeth, he's going to leave with a couple missing after that. Mm -hmm. J. Rod misses move. Strider, throws him up, gets a two count. Mm. And I think this just made him a little bit more irate. Yeah, J. Rod doesn't enjoy being showed up at all. He had things going his way. Crowded behind young Steven Strider. Over, you've heard me say this. I take <laughs> sets him up in the turnbuckles. I, I take nothing away from Crew Jones, J Rod, or CJ Austin. They are fantastic wrestlers, some of the finest in the Southeast. <laughs> Double knees to the neck, but the attitude uh, that's why you know the respect factor thrown out the window. Look at Nemesis. Well, I thought he was going to help Strider, he said, Get back in there. And let my man have a shot. You notice that J Rod stood on the outside. He wanted no part. No, it was Johnny Slaughter. No, it's smartness, sir. Smartness. You and I saw two weeks ago that manslaughter move, a back suplex where Johnny Slaughter uh, backflips with his opponent. An impressive maneuver. Yeah, they drop by Slaughter. Slaughter's on the cover. Slaughter's on the match. Two minutes remain. Five gone. Ten remain. Right into your television sets, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Slaughter. A boot right to the face from Alexander comes out. Going for slice Brit, no? Very nice. Daniel Alexander gave Crew Jones all he wanted uh, back on uh, September, get my dates right here, September 10th. 
Uh, Drew Jones, that was his first PWA Heritage title defense. And uh, Daniel Alexander went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, 16 to 18 minutes. Actually had the former champion on the ropes. So uh, he'd love another crack at that title this evening. Well, for again, this time of size slam from Slaughter. Slaughter said, uh, that's enough of that. Insulin. Hmm. Nemesis saying uh, some of the um, obese in the front row. He said a couple weeks ago, Burke, if they need their diabetic shot, why could I provide it? Boot to the mid session. My slaughter goes up. Snap, Zuflas gets Alexander down. And as you can see, Nemesis on the floor just pointing and directing his man to take care of Alexander. Buster by the Prime Minister of Pain. That hurt. It looks like it might be over for Mr. Alexander. Scoop, scoop slam. Slaughter wants the ring. I have the power. Was that a Masters of the Universe record? Yeah, something. Uh, we're going to see. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this deal is. But whatever it is, it's going to climb up on the top rope. Alexander's in the middle of the ring. Looks at J-Rod. Goes down. Mm. Connects with a big elbow drop. Doing some push-ups to showcase his athletic ability. Covers against a two count. J-Rod goes in. Apparently, the ring wasn't good enough. Ring's power must be <laughs> by the moon. Guess he couldn't get no power on it. Battery, getting a good laugh. Battery might be dead. It was better than bad suplex. Almost took him right out of his, out of his boots on him. Did you hear his, did you read his lips all day? All day. Oh, day. Little nonchalant cover, only going to get a two count. You know, I'm not surprised Cobra's the one who picked up on the all day comments. Ten dollars. Five for nine. He's only going to spot something like that. Tag team turmoil here. Oh! Got him in the hard way. As Slaughter and Eric Alexander's on the floor, J. Rob brings in Strider. Strider catches a knee to the chest. Mr. Romaine having problems keeping law and order here. Hmm. Time is of the essence, less than five minutes remaining. And we're still opening round match. I believe a lot. So we had a special start time this evening at 7 p.m. Wanted to make sure that uh, we were able to get in every single tag match as well. Who knows how long the battle bowl may go. I mean, you, 16 guys is something Bert alluded to earlier. You know, guys like Stupid and Stitch Cypher, who we haven't talked about in a while, they're sitting back there getting one heck of a breather, probably downing some energy drinks or water, whatever they do, stretching. Take a nap. Could be scalp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who had time to nap and scalp? Uh, Hmm. That one was not so weak. Alright, Swift. 
Slaughter catches the back elbow from Alexander. Alexander comes out. And that's with a clothesline. Nice fire from the youngster, Alexander, with a clothesline, as Burt said, out of the corner. Oh, and now J-Rod wants the tag. He's had enough rest. Smart veteran move. Mm. Just like a praying animal sees a weakness in his opponent, wants to take advantage of it. Only thing that's got to happen, the tag has got to happen first. And there it is. Slaughter and J-Rod's in the middle of the ring right now they're just trading right hand blows as a knee by Slaughter. Catches J-Rod off stride. Reverse high slip. Leap frog. Oh, double shoulder block takes down both opponents. Mm -hmm. Two opponents that was joining each other early on in the matchup finds himself laying side by side in the middle of the ring. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. Man tangled up. Ooh. Double elbows to the back of the head. Both men making the tag now. Daniel Alexander and Steven Strider. J-Rod stayed in a little longer than he should have. Same goes for Slaughter. Strider, Alexander on top, Jay Ryder. Slaughter catching a bad end of the deal right there in your living room set. You see Slaughter getting a bad end. Less than 60 seconds remaining here for one of these two teams. Hmm. An early preview. An early preview of Battle Bowl is action spilling into ring number one. J-Rod gets slaughtered. Scoop slam. Lurdy early on in the, in the night, but J-Rod's going over to the first ring. Hmm. 15 seconds. What's Ten, Johnny Slaughter doing here? Nine, eight, oh, what in the world? Seven, six. Five, oh, jumping four, from one ring to the three, other. Two, one. Wow, that's all she wrote. And that's it. That is a time limit. Well, there cannot be a time limit draw. From what we learned, it has to be a winner, right, Tony? So as, as all four opponents are in the first ring, all of them are down. Well, first of all, this is a time limit draw. However, folks, with this tonight, we don't have time for five more minutes or ten more minutes. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be charitable, even though I don't like you, Jay Wright, even though I don't like you, Johnny Slaughter, and I certainly don't like you, the wicked nemesis. However, all four men, including Daniel Alexander and Steven Strider, deserve a shot. No man was pinned, no man was counted out, no man was disqualified. So all four of you will advance to Battle Bowl in the main event this evening. All four, all four, four events. Strikely, you heard it. Almost unheard of. Daniel Alexander. We're going to be accompanied Strider, by Shane Knows one more time. Jay all four events, Shane. An executive decision that can only be handed down by you. How much does that change the end of the night? That's on the fly. You know, 16 now. Looks like we're going to have 18 competitors in Battle Bowl. And Ash is still going on inside the rings. J-Rod is taking it to Alexander. Well, Mr. Knowles, be honest with you. You made a good decision this time. I, I don't know how long that's going to last, but, you know. That's what we said. There might be a time limit draw. It's not fair to all four men to be beaten by the clock. We're not going to do a coin toss. We're not going to do five or ten more minutes. We're, 
We'll just give both guys an opportunity where there is no time limit in Battle Bowl. Yeah, Great. just like you said, we don't have time for extra time. We don't have time for all that stuff. You can't, you know, hurt all four. So you made the best decision that I think, and I think the fans are going to appreciate that later on, is that will change the tide of things as the night continues. Now, where that match ended, we're going to pick up in the seventh match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some more PWA Wrestling Action? Valentine, the first he competitor in match number seven. Let's see who his partner is. is. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here of who's available. Oh, is that who I think it is? That is who I thought it was. It is the former Heritage Champion, Drew Jones, giving a shout at me. You are the most popular, unpopular guy in this building, Shane. Only to you, Bert, only to you. You know, I could have stripped him of the title and not even given him an opportunity in Battle Bowl and given his shot to somebody else. But I'm a fair promoter, fair commissioner. Drew Jones has just as good a shot as anybody else. Now, he and Frankie Valentine, uh, this is almost like an exotic ones Washington Bullets ordeal. Uh, these gentlemen hate each other. You're my partner. We'll get over here and take this skirt off. <laughs> you midget. I say stripping for John the title is not changing the way, is it? From every woman's fantasy, Drew Jones! Drew and Frankie Valentine. I never thought I'd see these two as tag team partners. Their opponents. There he goes. <laughs> hard luck. Oh, hard luck, Eddie Wilson. Well, by my count, the only people left remaining that could be his partner would be uh, Axel, uh, Johnny Rage, Doink the Clown, uh, Aries, Rise and uh, one of the Washington Bullets, John Williams, comments. also still remaining. From Villarica, Georgia, hard luck, Eddie Wilson. See who Eddie Wilson's partner is. Oh wow, that's not uh, Andy Anderson. That would be his partner Axel. They also a tag team in MGCW out of Stockbridge, Georgia. gentlemen, his tag team partner is from Atlanta, Georgia, Axel Anderson. The brothers, the Anderson brothers. Once and again, Anderson. this match is set for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Back 
shortly. All right. Once again, the winner of this match will advance on to Battle Bowl. So, Tony, let me ask you something. With Andy Anderson and Axel Anderson, that's two double A's. Would it be a quad A? Could be. Be a nice room. <laughs> this is going to be strictly people that co coexist with each other at all. You like the commissioner said you're scraping a battle barrel on the final competitors for tonight. Russian last sweep in the middle of the ring. Hard luck going in. Flips over. Didn't even get a count on that one, Tony. I'm not even sure. I just know that you've got about two or three different promotions inside that ring with UIW and Peach State Wrestling and the, the Scout of Stop Bridge. I'm not sure exactly if he's, who he's with. MGCW. Okay. Here those call letters. <laughs> and you got the madman in there in charge. Mm -hmm. Madman Mason. Mm -hmm. I don't think Frankie Valentine, I think Frankie Valentine would probably rather team with Eddie Wilson and Pete Jones, but unfortunately that's not the case. Right there, a couple right hands. Who Jones telling Frankie Valentine, you're making me look bad. Hmm. Oh, cheap <laughs> shot by Jones. Just tagged himself in. It's a, if you want to make a safe ring entrance, that's the way to do it right there as you take the upper hand against Mr. Harluck himself. He's stretching that mouth open. He won't talk too long. Oh, wow. Stiff right hand by the former PWA Heritage Champion. From well, every woman's dream, or is that fantasy? I've also heard him referred to as uh, every woman's pet and every man's regret. No, he usually was describing me most of the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Sir. I can expect those T-shirts to hit the market here shortly. We having them printed as we speak. More like the grandfather goofiness over there. <laughs> Bert. Unless you want to be match number 18, <laughs> you sit over there and call the match and do what you're told. A match in the making, maybe, Miss. That's, that's on down the road right now. Tonight is full of action. Has not stopped. What strength possessed by Cruz Jones? With ease. Uh -oh. hmm. Full of energy, that young guy. Covers against a two count. He's saying, I'll work with you, crew. Valentine puts out the boot, and Jones, Jones goes along with it. The uh, tagging in and tagging out of this match has been dictated by one crew, Jones. I guess he comes in when he pleases and leaves when he wishes. When you run things like Crew Jones does, and, you know, you can do what you want to. Somehow I knew Cobra would have a reason, <coughs> excuse, for uh, the actions of Crew Jones. Yeah. Sorry, I must have had the same uh, cough that you had. Must be going around, Cobra, with this many people uh, in the facility. Mm. There's a tag in to balance on. <laughs> That's 
That's a kind of tag in that we've seen numerous times tonight. Well, you got to think some of these guys, you know, we talked about Stick Cypher and Stupid getting the rest back. The guys like Frankie Valentine, Crew Jones, they've been sitting back there for uh, over two and a half hours, you know, waiting for their chance. So probably a little PO on top of uh, hungry, excited, anxious, nervous, every adjective you can think. Uh, everyone here still, still alive for a shot at the PWA Heritage title. Anderson's a big dude to be knocking around Frankie Valentine like that. Yeah, Valentine's really no match against Anderson size-wise, but if he could get him with the quickness like he did with that drop kick, goes over for as a two count, and he walks into a clothesline from Anderson. I want to give a shout out to Nate on the uh, camera tonight, doing great work. Uh, you know, the referees have had a break tonight. The wrestlers are in one match. Nate has been on top of it for all seven matches, working uh, in both ring one and ring two. Uh, getting great footage for us here on our monitors. It's a boot to the men's section. Bert. That's a real boot. Look at that boot. That looks like a uh, barbarian type. Yeah, some stormtrooper type mess. <laughs> I thought you started to say uh, starship troopers. Yeah. <laughs> Tub and blow from J. Crew. And John is there. Cut off by Andy Anderson. Crew berating Frankie Valentine. He's not good enough to, to get him a tag here. I think Crew falls into that category of guys who certainly doesn't like his tag team partner, but you know, he's held that title more recently than anyone. He understands uh, I've got to work with this guy to get my belt back, as he calls it. Well, he didn't lose it, Shane. Did he? No, you're correct, Cobra. He was never pinned, he never submitted. I think he was upset a little bit or something like that. Right. Spin a right hand for Valentine Orton. Anderson goes across, walks into another club and clothesline there, as you've seen on the screen, how close he was to making that tag, but Anderson just, just toying with his emotions. Well, Cobra, I have warned Crew Jones several times about uh, language as well as uh, hand signals and gestures. As, and then when he beat Steve Stiles a couple of weeks ago, he had the audacity to bring a chair in after the match and pulverize the youngster with an EDT onto the chair after being repeatedly warned not to do so. Uh, I just felt like, you know, he wasn't really a fighting champion that had the respect and the dignity worthy of carrying around the strap. Well. That explains a whole lot. I'm sorry that doesn't sit well with you, Cody. It don't, it don't even weigh enough. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world crew stealing the cover? Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, Frankie Valentine and Crew Jones. Now, Frankie Valentine had that one. Crew coming and steals the pin. He's telling the PWA fan base, the title is almost within his grasp. Crew, explain to Frankie Valentine what's, what's going on. He don't, just, just there you go. Oh, Ex wow. Explanation. Just like that, Kamish, another one of your better rivals advances. Advancing to the battle bowl is Crew Jones. Laying out 
Who knows what kind of condition Frankie Valentine's going to be in for Battle Bowl because there's not a whole lot of time until we get to the main event. He was just laid out by Crew Jones with that corkscrew spiral. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be our match, final match before Battle Bowl. Are you ready? Gentlemen, we know who the final four are. We don't know how they're partnered. We've got Aries. We've got uh, Johnny Rage still to come. Uh, John of the Washington Bullets. John Williams of the Washington Bullets as well as uh, Doink the Clown number two. Any one of these four is going to be mixed and matched together. Only JB holds the cards to uh, know who that is. First, in this last and final tag team match from Hot Top Mount Olympus, Aries. His tag team partner is. Well, let's see what happens here, Shane. Let's see who Aries' partner is. We know that music. That's got to be John Williams of the Washington Bullets. Oh, boy. Well, they are the PWA Tag Team Champions. Uh, John trying to join his brother Trey in Battle Bowl. And, you know, that's something to think about. If they are successful uh, together, you know, you, you think about it's every man for himself, but you got to think the Washington Bullets would work together. Uh, two of the final 16. You know they're saying their job is to win and your job is to lose. That is correct. Uh, and they don't mind reminding us that yeah. every opportunity they get. I think I'll help them. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner from Washington, D.C., one half of the Washington Bullets, John Williams! Oh my, I think we know who the final two are. That's Doink the Clown number two, making his way to ringside. the clown number two, the 31st participant. That can only mean one man remaining for the 32nd final participant in Battle Bowl. And that will be Johnny Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, one half match. of their points the lottery, folks. from Looney Tuneville, USA. Now that's the crowd number two. Now that's parts unknown. <laughs> Looney Tuneville, what his state? Tag team partner is a company always on the road. This be? We know it's Johnny Rage. Now we got a list in front of us, Bert. We know exactly who this is. Coming out for the final contest. So, 